Hey guys, CP Modder here, back with another video, and today we're taking a look at this little basic guy, a low cost multimeter from TFT Tools. So let's face it, if you work on computers and little electronic devices, chances are you've had that moment where you really need a multimeter. Whether you want to find the voltage of some random wire or just want to do some troubleshooting of your device. And let's face it, multimeters can be quite expensive, with mine clocking in at well over $200 right here on Amazon. So how does this basic $10 unit perform and is it actually worth it? Kicking things off in the design department, as we usually do, we find this guy is made out of a rather rugged plastic design. Whilst it isn't metal, it actually feels fairly solid and something that I would have no worries chucking in my toolbox. There's a somewhat tough rubber outer shell that will help to protect this guy in the chance of a drop or any sort of impact. Peeling off this blue outer shell, it reveals the smaller black body of the actual multimeter itself, which even by itself is actually still fairly rugged feeling. On the back, we find ourselves a ton of warning symbols and logos and warnings and stuff like that. And just as a quick side note, the actual smell of the inside of this guy for some reason smells like burnt skittles mixed with like toxic plastic. Not the nicest smell, but definitely just a quick side note. But jumping around to the front of this guy, we find ourselves more plastic, the screen, a power switch and also to our mode dial and that about rounds out the front face. The mode dial itself has a ton of different modes which are usually found on most multimeters, including our 9 volt mode which is what most of us will be running it at. Down below are our positive and negative terminals, both of them for our leads, and speaking of our leads, they do come in with a decent length and also to have nice little tips to help us get into small device. Inside this guy we have a fuse rated for 500 volts or 200 milliamps, also too in there we find ourselves our 9 volt battery. This guy's also to a category 2 rated device and has a million warning labels as I have already mentioned, but the biggest limitation of this guy is found inside it and that is the 9 volt battery. Unlike larger and more expensive units, this guy is running a 9 volt battery and will max out at about 13.5 to 14 volts in terms of what it can actually read. So if you're trying to test a 24 volt circuit, you're going to be rather out of luck, as all it will display is around 13.5 to 14 volts depending on how it's being picked up. Though with that being said, even though this is a limitation, this guy is so small and portable and lightweight. Weight, I never really found myself testing anything that would require such high voltages in such a small form factor. So because of its size, I've really never had much of an issue with this 14 volt limit. However, it is definitely something that you will want to keep in mind. Powering this guy up, we find ourselves the UI is extremely clean and simple. Simply switching that switch to on will start our readout. There's no menu systems, there's nothing like that. Whatever you do switch that mode dial to is what it's going to be reading out. If you do plug in your polarities the wrong way, it'll just display a negative readout versus a positive readout and you're pretty much set there. The mode dial itself does feel a little bit on the cheap side, but definitely is well rugged enough to go ahead and well stand up to most day to day drops and things like that, so I wouldn't have any problems there. Once this device is turned on, powered up, plugged in and all ready to go, you should be able to measure whatever you need in less than 10 seconds from when you first turned it on, being extremely portable and extremely quick to use. Not to mention, it fits in your hand really, really well. For a small multimeter, I wasn't really sure about it, but honestly, holding it in my hand, it feels extremely sturdy and, well, just feels fairly nice at that point. The tester wires themselves are decent, if not a little bit on the cheap side, but again, thanks to their small size and low voltage sensitivity, and makes them awesome for working on small types of electronics and small PCBs. On top of that, general household objects will also too benefit from this as you're able to measure the voltages of batteries and other small things like that without much issue. And whilst it may not offer all the bells and whistles of the bigger, more expensive options, for those out there who have $10 and need a basic multimeter that can read up to 12 volts no problems, this guy is definitely a good deal. It's rugged enough to be thrown in a toolbox and take quite a beating thanks to that blue shell and also too it has an extremely simple UI basically needing no instructions to run. Switch it to the measurement you want, turn it to on and you are ready to go in less than 10 seconds making this guy a really good investment for just $10 and definitely will be adding this to my toolkit. 
So there we have it, the TFT Tools Multimeter, coming in at an extremely low price point, but delivering us quite a lot. If you want to pick one of these guys up, you can find them linked down below in that description box. Also to let me know down in the comment sections what you think of multimeters and if you've already picked one up, because I'd be pretty interested to know what you guys use it for as well. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.